Many subscribers asked me to make an Ethel flat guide and of course I did my best to create what you guys need. We will discuss her skills, her best use, talent trees, the best payers and the equipment to use on her and we will end the video with some extra tips about her. Let's go! Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> What's going on my beautiful governors, welcome to a new Rise of Kingdoms video. We will start the video with Ethelflaed's skills, so if you're an experienced player, if you have all the information you need when it comes to her skills, you can skip to the next part if you want to. Now her first skill is a half circle AoE, so the area of effect is bigger than regular fun shaped AoE skills like Sansu, Leonidas, XY for example, and this skill is her main thing. Even though the active skill damage is lower than usual, the health and defense debuff is what makes her so good for completely free legendary commander. Pair her with a secondary commander that does high AoE skill damage like YSG and you will deal tons of damage, but this is mainly for Kenyon and we will discuss that in the pairing section. Her second skill is another debuff and it reduces the counterattack damage of the troops which is a decent skill to give you a little bit of tankiness and you have a 10% chance to reduce the march speed of the enemy. The good part of this skill is it reduces 50% march speed of cavalry which is the fastest troop type in Rise of Kingdoms. In general this is just an alright skill. Third one is a regular PvE skill, extra damage to barbs and XP bonus, we move on. Here comes the tricky part. The first part is related to rallies, we don't care about it, but the second part is the important stuff. It says when troops led by this commander consists 3 or more different unit types, troops gain 20% increased attack. So we are going to use calves, archers and infantry and we will get 20% bonus attack. Do not care about the word leading. It doesn't mean that she needs to be the primary commander. Some people think that way, I just wanted to give you a heads up, she can be a primary or secondary for that skill to work. She doesn't have to be a primary. Now the tricky part is the number of troops that you should use for that skill and of course equipment pieces you should go for. First I want to thank to Wick Gaming for doing the math and saving us from the trouble. Let's analyze the results depending on your civilization and special unit. You can take some notes or just take a screenshot to use all that information in future for your Ethelflaed or any leadership commanders that requires three different troop types. On the left we have different VIP levels. The reason is in these different VIP levels we have different troop counts. So he gives us exact number of troops that we need to use depending on our maximum troop count. But what we're gonna do is to just understand the idea in general. Now these numbers also assumes that you are using 50% army expansion. So if you are not using it, adjust the numbers according to that. But the main idea is so these six civilizations are the best ones, the top ones in Rise of Kingdoms. France, Rome, Arabia, Ottoman, Germany and Vikings. If you are fighting and if you are using any other civilization, I suggest you to take a look at our civilization guide because you should be using one of these in my opinion and they tested it and observed which different troop type they lose the most for each civilization and this is the conclusion if you are using France, Rome or Vikings you should use equal amount of infantry and archers, heavy cavalry if you are using Arabia, Ottoman or Germany you should be using same amount of calves and archers and heavy infantry the logic is simply to use the most amount of troops from the troop type that you are losing fastest so this is the table, these are the numbers depending on your civilization. These numbers are based on a 50% army expansion. If you are not using 50%, adjust the numbers according to that. But I believe you got the main idea. Her expertise is pretty straightforward. Let's not waste any time for now because we will talk about it in the next section and it is her best use and payers. To be honest, she is quite useful in many different cases, farming barbarians, killing barbarian forts, even in some special PvE events, she is really good. But other than that, she is superb, like amazing in Sunset or Lost Canyon because of her AoE debuff, Ethelflaed primary, YSG secondary, is a standard backline march for many players in Canyon. By the way, if you guys missed our Canyon guide, card up in the top. Also, link is in the description. I highly recommend you to check it out. It is packed with lots of information, tips, and tricks for Canyon. However, for open field, I really don't recommend her as primary. The reason why we are able to use her as a primary in Canyon, in that game mode, the opponent has to attack your frontline first. So 
it is guaranteed that she will be safe until your frontman dies. But in open field, that's not the case. She is super squishy, she will get focused and destroyed within seconds. She is much better as a secondary, especially behind the tanky commander. For open field, my recommended primaries for Ethelflaed are Richard, Saladin, Trajan or Constantine. All these primaries have one thing in common and it is their tankiness. Richard primary and Constantine primary are pretty much the same. For those two you want to use full infantry because their skills and talents that requires full infantry troops are more beneficial than Ethelflaed's fourth skill which requires three different troop types. Same story for Saladin. Also there is a good synergy between them because both Richard and Constantine can slow the enemy. Richard's first skill and Constantine Cage of Thorns talent but for her best pair Trajan Ethelflaed of course, we will use three different troop types because Trajan also benefits from that. And another option only for early KVKs might be Ethelflaed and Joan of Arc for a solid buff slash debuff march. If you have extra troops but not many pairs, not many commanders, you can use them together. We've discussed the number of troops that you should use from each different troop type in her skill section which is in chapter 1. If you missed that part, you can go back and watch it. By the way, if you think any of the information was useful or helpful so far, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, it only takes one second but helps the channel a lot. And this is my friends, is the best talent tree for her in my opinion and it is specifically for Canyon because as I said, I think it's not very optimal to use her in open field as a primary. When it comes to equipment, you will obviously use standard infantry equipment for Richard and Constantine primaries because we are going to use full infantry. But for Trajan, three different troop types, I think what you should do is to understand the most optimal number of troops that you should use with her depending on your special units and your civilization. Check the table that's provided by Wick Gaming and gear your Trajan or Ethelflaed with the equipment that is the most beneficial for the highest number of troops. For example, if you should mainly use cavalry, then you should go with the cab equipment and another benefit of this approach if you manage to create let's say a legendary cab equipment you can just select cavalry as special talent and put it on your main cab march and craft another one for your flat. but if you want to go hardcore for some reason then you should select the leadership option for your special talented equipments let me show you real quick let's say i'm going to use mainly infantry for my trajan and flat. then i should go for the infantry equipment and if it procs i'm going to select special talent let's see there it is, just like that, we craft cheap but effective gear for our leadership march depending on the troop count that we are using the most. So we discussed Ethelflaed's skills, best use, best payers, the number of troops that you should use from each different troop types, ideal equipment, hope you guys liked it, hope you guys found it useful and informative and if you did, a simple like and subscribe will be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching, I see you on the next one, bye.